Hey Scorpio, welcome to your June love reading. I hope you guys are all doing great out there. Welcome to my channel, Badison Intuitive Tarot. Happy to have you. Now be thinking about your person that you wanna know about. I'm gonna pull in on their energy and get how they feel about you currently and throughout the month of June and see if there's gonna be any actions that they take towards you, all right? Scorpio and the one on their mind, ooh. I just glanced at the devil and the ace of wands, but in this art depiction, the devil is dressed up like a dominatrix. So if this is someone new in your life, they're definitely hot for you. But if this is someone that you've already been dealing with, they're still hot for you, all right? There's a lot of sexual desire coming off of those two cards. All right, what do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, please, one more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for Scorpio. Okay, so your person's current feelings for you. We have the Knight of Wands. This is Sagittarius energy, but also Leo and Aries. Now with their feelings for you being the Knight of Wands, this is telling me that they are in pursuit of you. Whoever you are, whether you're new in their life or someone that they've already been getting to know for some time now, they want more of you. However, just be mindful that the Knight of Wands doesn't come with a stable offer just yet. So if this is someone new in your life, that would make sense that this person's coming in with a more attractive energy towards you versus stable. But if this is someone that you've been dealing with for some time now, like at least a year, and they're coming in as the Knight of Wands, be mindful that they're, they've are they got the tendency to come and go. Okay, you'll know which stage you're in with somebody. Now, what's their view of you? The Three of Cups, they view you as a, a good time, someone that they have fun with, someone that lights up a room, you make friends everywhere you go. They're viewing you as someone that they always want to have as their plus one at a wedding, their plus one at a party, their plus one at, you know, Netflix and chill, I don't know, but this person likes you. But I want to see pentacles come through, okay? Or something that shows me that there's going to be a long-term relationship involved. And for others, there could be a reunion with somebody if you and this person haven't been really on the same page for some time now and you guys are reigniting that passion with each other again. But they definitely dig you. They definitely dig you. They feel like you are a blast to be around, okay? You might have a lot of friends around you. Now, their actions towards you in June. The Nine of Cups, you're putting a smile on their face, Scorpio. Whoever you are, you're putting this smile on this person's face. This feels very fresh. This feels like you may have been dealing with this person for maybe three to nine months and it's like too soon to tell if there is going to be marriage involved but you've known this person enough for there to be like emotions being developed. Okay? Um, I just don't feel like this is someone that you've been dealing with for, for many years, Scorpio. I just don't feel it. But I'll know more as I dig through and get some clarifiers to see if there is some history here. But for the most part, they, they like you. They definitely like you. So let's get your feelings for them. The Emperor, Major Arcana for Aries. You feel like this could be the one. Because to have your feelings be the emperor tells me that um, you see that this could turn into a long-term relationship because the emperor looks for their empress. Okay, you feel like this is something stable. And you're being strategic right now, I feel like, Scorpio, because you're standing here with that chess piece in your hand as to say that you're just going to, you know, play calm, cool, and collected with this person and see where it goes and not get to, you know, don't let your, your guard too down. Okay, but you guys like each other a lot. This looks pretty good. What's the overall energy? Temperance, major kind of for Sagittarius. Now, temperance does oftentimes represent reconciliation. So if you have been dealing with this person and they've been on and off with you, they're coming back around to, you know, get back in your life. But if this is someone new in your life for the last maybe three to nine months, they want to compromise with you. They're being very patient about how they proceed with you, but they definitely enjoy your energy. I mean, when you look at this card, Scorpio, you see this, this lady, this dude, and this little child in a kitchen cooking and baking. It's very relaxed. It's a very relaxed setting. You can even picture light music in the background and everyone's just vibing on a nice Sunday afternoon, just making their favorite sweets or a barbecue or something like that. They feel like you bring out the best in them and that you're always fun to be around. Okay. But with that King of Swords energy, I feel like you have someone here that doesn't really open their feelings up to you where you never know what they feel about you. 
all right? You see the King of Swords right here. You see this dude smiling, right? But when you're dealing with the King of Swords, you have no idea what's behind that smile. For all you know, this person could love you, hate you, not even think about you, whatever the case may be, because the King of Swords can mask their emotions like nobody can, okay? So you've got someone here that knows how to keep their feelings to themselves. They might know how to be flirty and romantic with you, yes, but when it comes to them saying, Scorpio, I'm in love with you, that's when they get tongue-tied. That's when they get, they get tongue-tied. I am seeing the Five of Swords right here with a star. So if this is someone that you've had some sort of falling out with, especially during Mercury Retrograde, um, they want to heal the situation between the two of you, okay? And squash whatever beef that you guys have, all right? Because the Five of Swords is that energy of miscommunication or someone saying something while they were still upset about something else and they regret what they said. Okay, if that's your situation, this person wants to resolve the issue. So let's dig in. Let's clarify. I just saw the dev card, so there could have been an ending between the two of you guys that's leading to a new beginning after some serious changes are taking place. Okay, someone's moving to somebody very cautiously with that Knight of Pentacles energy. And there could have been some silence between the two of you with the Two of Swords, but someone's getting ready to break that silence with that Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands how this person feels about Scorpio, please? Your person could have a, a beard or a goatee. The Magician. Now, the Magician as a clarifier to this person's feelings tells me that this person is very, very confident that you guys could build something together and that you guys could create something good. Even if it's just you know going out and having fun out in the town, this person feels confident you guys make a good team. You guys know how to have a good time. You guys know how to, you know, be around each other. It, it's like you guys are like, you blend well. This person is pretty much saying, Badison, me and Scorpio blend well, all right? It's like you guys may have been instant friends when you first met, and then it, it carried on to something else um, very quickly. This person is feeling like there could also be a blank canvas between the two of you guys where if you guys had any challenges, you guys can start over fresh, okay? Nine of Pentacles. I just looked at the Five of Cups, the Strength card. If this person did anything that disappointed you, they're really feeling bad about it. They really are. But right now, they may be holding back saying anything to you with that Strength card, but being open to fixing what was done with the Justice card, showing me a couple in a couples counselor's office. Okay. Why are they viewing Scorpio as the Three of Cups, please? Why are they viewing Scorpio as the Three of Cups? Someone could have worked at a topless bar, and that's possibly where you guys met. Why the Three of Cups? The devil. All right. And I have to mention this, but this person is viewing you as someone very sexually desiring. Okay, because you, when you look at this card, Scorpio, you see a woman dressed up as a dominatrix, and then you got this topless chick over here. This person is viewing you as being very desirable, and they can't get enough of you because the devil speaks of obsession, temptation, okay? And with the Knight of Wands being this person's feelings with the magician, they wanna come towards you. Just be mindful that you know you guys are on the same page with what is going down with this relationship, all right? Because I don't have any friggin' pentacles. I don't have any pentacles. I have the energy that this person loves being around you, okay? And that they want to um, be around you more and more, but where's the pentacles at? So let's clarify their actions. I mean, I do have the page of pentacles right here. So you got someone that's wanting to take baby steps. Why is the nine of cups their actions towards Scorpio, please? Why the nine of cups? Why the nine of cups as their actions towards Scorpio, please? Why the nine of cups? The hanged man, you got this person all up in their head. They don't know what to do. You've got someone here that may have came into this situation non-committal, and now they're like, oh shoot, what do I do? All right, because you can't ignore all this attraction and fun and feeling like someone is like a perfect match for you where you guys just get along on a strong level and just walk away from that. So this person's like, do I offer something to Scorpio or what do I do here? So if things have been kind of like, um, awkward between the two of you guys it's because they're, they're just trying to figure out how to move this forward all right they're in hangman position 
you see I feel like you originally met someone that was not looking for the one and they met you they're realizing they're having a lot of fun with you the chemistry is off the charts they feel like you guys are really good together and now they're like oh where do I go from here okay and for someone someone here there was a third party and this person may have had to make a decision between you and another person or you were the one that was in a situation all right let's clarify your feelings why is the emperor how scorpio feels about this person whoa that card just went flying out of my hands hold on it's on the floor the ten of cups however scorpio the ten of cups landed sideways on my floor so i'm going to honor the reverse position and the upright position now with it landing sideways even though you feel like you could have something stable with this person at times you don't feel like you're being supported by this person and that they're not being clear on their intentions with you but then there's other moments where you feel like you're the only person in their life that they care about and you're like whoa this person really really likes me but then just as quick as as that felt it's like they they, they might disappear or go quiet for days at a time and you, you lose that feeling of security um, based on their actions. So it's like you want to see consistency right now, otherwise you're not going to be vulnerable with them and that's possibly why you're coming up holding that chest piece. Why is temperance the overall energy? Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. I love you. Ooh, eight of wands, ace of swords. Expect a lot of communication, possibly between the next one and eight days. Why is temperance the overall energy? Yeah, look at that, the five of swords. Hold on, there's a hair tickling me. The five of swords. There could have been some sort of misunderstanding and this person's wanting to um, heal the situation and find some sort of comp compromise, okay? You could have Sagittarius in your chart, Scorpio, or you're on the cusp of Scorpio and Sagittarius season or Libra and Scorpio season, okay? But yeah, look at that, the lovers. I feel like I have a Scorpio here that's wanting to know, is this person just in and out of my life for sex? Or are we just, is it all about our chemistry that we have for each other? Or do we not have anything else that would allow us to build something strong, stronger? Okay. And when I look at this card, Scorpio, you see how this serpent is wrapped around you guys' waist? Well, the serpent is an archetype of wisdom, but in this tarot deck, it's wrapping around you guys' sacral area, which is all about sexual desire. I feel like I have a situation here where you and this person have a lot of sexual heat for each other, a lot of desire. You guys are like magnets, all right? But I have somebody here, which I feel like is you, thinking, is that it though? Is this not going to lead to marriage? Is this not going to last a long time? Because if it's not, I want to make sure that I'm not getting played. All right, so let me get a hidden message. Then I'm gonna pull a monthly oracle. Maybe it's their birthday, maybe it's the month you met, maybe it's the month something major takes place. So pretty much Scorpio, I have someone here that really, really is attracted to you. They think you are a blast to be around. They, they're, they're addicted to your energy basically with that devil to the three of cups. And you've got them in a position where they're like, all right, where is this going now? You've got their attention and they're they're really contemplating how to move forward you know what let me get another card on that can I get another card on their actions towards Scorpio in June because the hanged man's not leaving me with much it's showing me that you make them happy but they're just laying on their ass not doing anything why the hanged man why the hanged man there's the offer boom that's what I was looking for Scorpio you've got someone that's taking you seriously all right, whether this is a reconciliation, whether this is someone new in your life, you did something. You did something. Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. You, I think you just turned a player into a husband or a wife. <laughs> or there was a decision needing to be made between two people, I don't know. But this looks like this person is not done with this connection. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl, so let's get to hit a message. If you'd like to book a private reading, the link to my website is in the description box, okay? And I invite you to join my membership program where I pull cards for members in the live stream. So if you can't afford a personal reading, that's the best bet. It hurts to see online that you may have moved on with your life. Hold on, let me give you a close-up. Or that you may have moved on with your life. I can't read. I have awakened to our connection. I know we have a timeless bond between us. 
Yo, Scorpio, someone here is w awakening to your connection in the month of June. And then on the bottom we have, I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. I'm so sorry. And for some of you Scorpios, maybe you're like out the door and you're like, man, I knew you loved me, but you never told me. All right, but someone's wanting to give you an offer, but they're not taking it lightly. They're not rushing. All right, they're wanting to be sure. So let's see which month is significant for you and this person. Which month is significant for Scorpio and this person, please? Really? Doesn't want to come out. All right, so May and August. So you could have met in May and then in August is when you're gonna get this offer or that's their birthday. And I do have a lot of Leo here. Um, so it could be a Leo or a Virgo at the end of August. So those two date, those two months are significant. All right, so I hope this reading helps. You could be connecting with an Aries, Gemini, Capricorn, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Sagittarius. All right, but it could be anybody. Oh, and Pisces. All right, take care, Scorpio.